So today we're going to talk about water makeup and how water goes into your system from the city water that we're tapped to. So this is our standard water makeup system right here. And the water comes in from the city on this part and then it goes in to fill the fountain on this part. So this is called a bypass. If I was to open this valve right here, the water would flow from here directly through here and into the pool of water with the storage of water or where the water is being held. That's direct and that's manual and that will just keep filling until it overfills or you close this valve. So this is what we call the bypass. This is our standard water fill. The water flows here, goes down this way, through a solenoid valve and up and then out to the pool of water. Okay? Many times that you have problems with water not flowing into your pool, but your pool is low, the problem is in the solenoid valve and the solenoid valve just needs to be cleaned. So this is the process on how to clean it. Now the first thing you do is go to the control panel and turn off all control because we don't want power going to the solenoid when we're trying to work on it. Second thing would be to close these two valves to keep the water from flowing in from the city or having it come back from the pool to flood your vault. So we don't want that. So we close these two valves, close this valve so we have no water flowing anywhere and then we can work on the water solenoid. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the coil to the solenoid. This is what energizes and de-energizes the solenoid by loosening this little thumb wheel. I'm going to place it up here and you just simply lift it. Now, inside on top of the coil you got a little gasket and there's a little washer. So make sure you don't lose them. I'm just going to move them out of the way for right now and they're going to sit right there. Okay? I've already loosened these four screws with a 10 millimeter wrench. So just for ease, I've removed them. So you just loosen these four bolts. Make sure you keep the lock washers. You don't lose them. And I'll stack them up here. Now it's very important that you remain leaving this, you put this back in the same position that it's in right now with the coil on this side. So then I can simply just lift that part up and I can set it out of the way. You can see it has nothing but it's just uh, the top part. Then in here you have a rubber diaphragm. If you just kind of peel it up inside, there will be rocks and things inside here and if you'll just dig out the rocks or s sticks or debris inside here it will loosen everything up once you get all of that clear you just put it back the way it was taken apart put the diaphragm back take this part make sure it's back in that position put these four screws back on tighten them down Take the solenoid, put it back on, and just reposition it, make sure that the ring washer is there, and put it back on. Make it hand tight. Open your valves. Turn your power back on. You should be set to go. 
from the, from the main screen. So from here, you can see you can't press F4. So you gotta go back to the main screen to hit F4. It'll pull up the, uh, the time of day that, that it was the last time somebody set the time of day. 